أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله for a few sessions we are going to be covering a few special rules in our reading of the Holy Quran. Now this is not going to be an advanced deep uh, coverage of the rules of Tajweed but just certain uh, instances of one letter meeting another letter, one vowel with another vowel and so on that occur throughout the Quran frequently in the Quran so we're going to go over them because of how often they show up in the Quran and it's very important for us to know how to read them so we can read the Quran properly. So the first rule that we're going to cover is Tanween followed by Hamza al wasl If you remember, Tanween is when a letter has two Fatha on it, two Kasra under it, or two Dhamma on top of it. This is Tanween, and Tanween is a short vowel with a noon sound at the end of it. So if Tanween is followed by Hamza al wasl Remember, Hamza al wasl is that Alif, that if we start from it, we pronounce it, but if we don't start from it, we don't pronounce it. So if you have Tanween followed by Hamza al wasl then the noon sound of the Tanween is read with a Kasra. So let's look at an example. So here we have one of the surahs that we covered so far, Surah Al-Ikhlas, or Surah Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad. We have here now, Qul. You see, if we stop here, we pronounce this tanween like a sakin. We say ahad. And then we have the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next ayah. We say Allahu samad. Now, what if we want to combine these two verses? What if these ayat? What if I want to read this ayah and then without stopping, I want to read the next one? So that would mean that on this word, I have to say, Ahadun. See? Ahadun. Because I'm continuing, I don't read the, the, the tanween like a sakin. I pronounce it properly. I say, Ahadun. But then I have this Hamza al wasl And we know that when we read through, we don't pronounce Hamza al wasl And then we have this. So if this Hamza al wasl is silent, then this Lam here has a shad. So do I connect this dal with this lam and say ahadullahu? Then this is not correct. The way that we read this encounter of the tanween and this hamza al wasl is that when I say ahadun, instead of reading that noon sound in dun as if it has a sakin, I'm going to read that noon as if it has a kasna. So I will say. Ahadunilla. I'm going to read that noon sound from the Tanween with the Kasra. I say Dunilla. Then the noon sound of the Tanween will connect with the Islam with the Shat. So it'll be read like this, starting from this Alif here. Ahadunilla Husamad. I would say, if, now if I read the whole thing correctly, I would say, now, to help you out, some prints of the Quran are going to add a small noon with a kasra after the letter that has the tanun. Some prints of the Quran will not. They will just have the letter with tanween followed by the Hamza al wasl and it is up to us to know this rule. That when we have a letter with tanween followed by this hamza al wasl then we read the noon sound of the tanween with a kasra. We say, Ahadunillahu. And then some prints of the Quran will help you out. So you just have to imagine that small noon there. You say, Ahadunillahu. So if you are reading a certain print of the Quran that has this small noon, then don't be alarmed. It's there to help you with this encounter of the Tanween followed by Hamza al wasl So let's look at another example. <clears throat> we have this ayah, this uh, verse of the Quran from Surah Al-Qiyamah. So we'll read, it says, Ila rabbika yawma'idhin And then we have, Al-Mustaqar. So now again, we have this Dhal 
that has tanween with two kasras. And then we have the alif lam. And of course, this alif and alif lam is hamza al wasal. So now what do we do here? Instead of saying din al, we give the noon of the tanween a kasra. We say dinil, so that the noon sound from the tanween connects with this lam that has the sakin. So if we read it correctly, we say from the beginning of the ayah. إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَئِذٍ الْمُسْتَقَرِ Did you see that? يَوْمَئِذٍ الْ We say نِلْ مُسْتَقَرِ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَئِذٍ الْمُسْتَقَرِ And of course, the certain print of the Qur'an will put that noon with the kasra there for you. So, let's look at another example. Here we have two words. جَمِيعًا and then, alladhi. So now, we have this tanween. Sometimes we have a letter will have two fathas on it followed by an alif. So we still pronounce this as if there's no alif here. This alif is silent. We still pronounce this ayn with the two fathas as an. Jami'an. And then we have this hamza al wasil here. And the same rule will apply. Even though there's this extra alif here, we still follow the same rule. That because there's this Hamza al wasil here, then the noon sound of the tanween is going to be read with a kasra, so that we say, Jami'anilladhi. Jami'anilladhi. You see, and then the other print of the Quran will have that small noon there, so don't be uh, confused by that. That small noon is just there to help you remember that you should read the noon sound of the tanween with a kasra. You say, on to our next rule. And this has to do with two occasions that have the same rule. So one is tanween followed by the letter ba. <clears throat> or when we have noon sakina, meaning a noon, an actual letter noon that has a sakin on it, followed by the letter ba. So the rule applies the same to both of these. So this rule is the same for tanween and for the noon that has a sakin. When they are followed by the letter ba, then the noon sound is pronounced like a meme instead of a noon. So let's look at an example to see how this works. So here we have this ayah, which <clears throat> this phrase, excuse me, <clears throat> which appears several times in the Quran. For example, in Surah Al-Hashr, when Allah says, in Allah You see there's a tanween on the Surah, so we say Khabirun Bima Ta'amalun. Now here, this is what we're talking about. This ra has tanween, and what comes after it is the letter ba. So what do we do in this situation? The noon sound that is made by this tanween by these two dhammas we're going to replace it with a meme sound. So instead of saying run, like with the noon sound, we say rum, like with the meme sound. Khabi rum bima. You see? So here's how we read it. In Allah khabi rum bima ta'amaloon. So that noon sound from the tanween gets replaced by a meme sound. So that's why in some prints of the Quran, you're going to have in this situation a small meme right after this tanween. So you have the tanween followed by the letter ba. So they'll put a meme there to remind you that you should read the noon sound of the tanween like a meme. So you say, khabirum bima ta'amaloon. Okay, one more time, we'll read that phrase. In Allah khabirum bima ta'amaloon. Let's try another example. Here we have the word. Well, this example that we had here was with tanween. And the rule is the same because tanween produces the same sound as a noon that has suck in. So the rule is the same for both. So now we have the example with a noon that has a suck in. Here we have the word min, min. Followed by the letter ba. Ba'de. So we have min ba'de. So now the same rule is going to work here. We have a noon with sakin. 
followed by the letter ba. So this noon is going to be pronounced like a meme instead. So you're going to pretend that there's two memes here. You're going to say, mim ba'de. And that's why some prints of the Quran, you will see this small meme between this noon and this ba. To remind us, that we have to read this noon with the sakin as if it's a meme with the sakin. So we would say, mim ba'de. So let's look at another example. Sometimes this happens in the same word. This is one word here. See, this was between two words. This is the same word. We have dal, noon, and ba. Then be. So the same rule applies here. We have a noon with sakin followed by the letter ba. So we have to pronounce this noon like a letter meme. We say dhambe. So that printed the special print of the Quran will have that meme there for you on top of this noon. So you, you know to pronounce this noon like a meme instead. You say dhambe. So those are our two rules for tonight. Remember the first rule was that if you have tanween, tanween followed by Hamza al wasil you pronounce the noon sound of the tanween with a kasra. As in this example, you would say, Ahadunillahu. So you have to remember this so that when you don't see that noon in certain prints of the Quran, you have to remember to say, Ahadunillahu. You have to remember to pronounce that noon with a kasra. And the other rule we went over was that whenever you have tanween followed by the letter ba, or you have a noon with sakin that's followed by the letter ba, the noon sound of the tanween will be pronounced like a meme, and the noon with the sakin will also be pronounced with a meme when they are followed by the letter ba. And that is the end of our session for tonight.